High-flow nasal cannula therapy has emerged as a significant advancement in the management of respiratory failure. High-flow nasal cannula is a non-invasive respiratory support system that delivers heated and humidified oxygen at high flow rates, typically between 30 and 60 liters per minute. The system consists of a high-flow oxygen source, a nasal cannula designed for high flow, and a heated humidifier to maintain optimal airway moisture. Mechanisms of Action 1. Positive End Expiratory Pressure PEEP High-flow nasal cannula therapy generates a PEEP effect, which helps keep the alveoli open and improves oxygenation. In adult patients, the PEEP level typically ranges from 0 to 5 cm H2O. For pediatric patients, the PEEP effect is more pronounced, facilitating alveolar recruitment. 2. CO2 Washout the high flow rate facilitates the clearance of carbon dioxide from the anatomical dead space. This may reduce the work of breathing and improve overall respiratory efficiency, particularly in patients with hypercapnia. 3. Matching respiratory flow. High flow nasal cannula can match the patient's inspiratory flow demands, enhancing comfort. This may improve the accuracy of oxygen delivery and allow for better titration of the FiO2 optimizing patient management. Indications for high-flow nasal cannula. High-flow nasal cannula therapy is indicated in various clinical scenarios, particularly in patients experiencing respiratory distress or failure. Common indications include, one, hypoxemic respiratory failure, such as pneumonia, ARDS, and pulmonary edema. Two, COPD exacerbations. Patients with acute exacerbations may benefit from high-flow nasal cannula to improve oxygenation and reduce carbon dioxide retention. 3. Post-extubation support. High-flow nasal cannula can be used to prevent reintubation in patients who have been extubated but are at risk for respiratory failure. 4. Pediatric applications, particularly those with viral infections or bronchiolitis. Contraindications of high-flow nasal cannula. While high-flow nasal cannula is beneficial, certain contraindications must be considered. One, severe upper airway obstruction. Patients with anatomical obstructions may not benefit from high-flow nasal cannula. Two, inability to tolerate nasal cannula. Patients who cannot tolerate nasal cannula due to discomfort or other reasons may require alternative methods of oxygen delivery. 3. Need for immediate intubation. Patients exhibiting signs of severe respiratory failure may require immediate intubation rather than high-flow nasal cannula. Clinical considerations of high-flow nasal cannula. 1. Patient selection. Careful evaluation of the patient's clinical status is crucial for determining the appropriateness of high-flow nasal cannula. Continuous monitoring of vital signs, oxygen saturation, and respiratory effort is essential during high-flow nasal cannula therapy. 2. FiO2 titration. Start with a higher FiO2, such as 60%, and titrate down based on the patient's oxygen saturation and clinical response. Aim for SpO2 levels of 92 to 96% in most patients, adjusting FiO2 as necessary. Three, humidification and temperature. High flow nasal cannula systems should always deliver heated and humidified oxygen to prevent airway dryness and irritation. Optimal temperature settings, usually around 37 degrees Celsius help maintain mucosal integrity and improve patient comfort. Four, weaning protocol. As the patient improves, gradually reduce flow rates and FiO2. Consider weaning when the patient exhibits stable oxygen saturation, improved respiratory effort, and overall clinical improvement. Complications of high-flow nasal cannula. One, nasal and facial discomfort. Patients may experience nasal dryness, irritation, or pressure sores from the cannula. Ensure proper fit of the nasal cannula. Use topical moisturizers or barrier creams as needed. Two, 
gastric distension. High flow rates can lead to increased air swallowing, resulting in gastric distension. Monitor for abdominal discomfort and consider adjusting flow rates if necessary. 3. Hypoxia or hypercapnia. Regularly assess arterial blood gases or capnography to ensure adequate oxygenation and ventilation. If hypoxia or hypercapnia persists, consider alternative therapies such as non-invasive ventilation or intubation. Evidence-based practice of high-flow nasal cannula. Recent studies have highlighted the efficacy of high-flow nasal cannula in various clinical settings. Research comparing high-flow nasal cannula to conventional oxygen therapy and non-invasive ventilation has shown high-flow nasal cannula to be equally effective or superior in certain populations. Systematic reviews indicate that high-flow nasal cannula may reduce the need for intubation and improve outcomes in patients with acute respiratory failure. Take-home message. High-flow nasal cannula therapy represents a valuable tool in the management of respiratory failure. Its ability to provide effective oxygenation while enhancing patient comfort makes it an essential component of modern respiratory care. Understanding the mechanisms, indications, and clinical considerations associated with high-flow nasal cannula will equip healthcare professionals with the knowledge necessary to optimize patient outcomes in various clinical scenarios. Question number one. What is the typical flow rate for high-flow nasal cannula therapy in adults? The correct answer is C. The typical flow rate for high-flow nasal cannula therapy in adults is 30 to 60 liters per minute. Question number two. Which of the following is not a mechanism of action for high-flow nasal cannula therapy? The correct answer is D. Mechanisms of action for high-flow nasal cannula therapy include PEEP, CO2 washout, and matching respiratory flow. Question number three. Which of the following is a contraindication for high-flow nasal cannula therapy? The correct answer is D. Severe upper airway obstruction is a contraindication for high-flow nasal cannula therapy. Question number four. Which of the following is not a common indication for high-flow nasal cannula therapy? The correct answer is D. Common indication for high-flow nasal cannula therapy include pneumonia, ARDS, COPD exacerbations, and post-extubation support. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscription button. If you have any questions, Feel free to leave a comment below in the comments section.